good evening everyone i hope you all are doing well so let us quickly start the session uh, this session is not going to take much time in this session i am going to discuss uh, few important topics which are related to your uh, economy current affairs and from here on daily we'll be having a 40 minute session because uh, most aspirants are going to attempt this uh, exam so we are not going to take much time so we'll quickly finish up uh, the session in the half an hour so that it could be helpful for all the aspirants who are preparing for the state services as well as the upsc are you able to see my screen is it visible can someone answer okay great so today's we are, today we are going to discuss the most important uh, topic which is part of the regular current affairs in this session we are going to discuss about the minimum selling price statutory minimum prices state advised prices levy prices and fair and remunerated prices see these are the terms which are regularly in news okay these terms you get to see regularly in news and uh, you know like one or the other time government will keep trying to come with some reforms with respect to these uh, uh, prices now let me tell you a little bit background why i have chosen these uh, related to why i have chosen this uh, quick important terms so because these could be the terms which could be asked in your examination and uh, see basic background of this exam see uh, previously i have also posted uh, a session okay a video on about jute so go through that jute today let us talk more about sugarcane let us talk more about sugarcane here and uh, let me tell you why sugarcane is in news see india is one of the largest india is one of the largest producer i am saying it is largest so india is one of the largest producer of sugarcane so india is the largest producer of sugarcane in the world so you must be knowing so uh, you must be knowing here that uh, india when we compare when we compare when we compare the role of uh, india it is we can say that it is the second largest so first it is the brazil for so first it is going to brazil second it is going to be india so brazil and india are the one of the top most largest producer of sugar cane sugar in the international market and in india remember there are five crores farmers are directly associated with the sugar cane and more than 5 lakhs of farmers are associated with this sugar mills sugar mills so there is a huge i mean like there is a large scale employment with respect to the sugar cane in india this last year employment with respect to the sugar cane in india and uh, they are certain leading states what are those leading states it is maharashtra okay it is uttar pradesh which are the leading states in our uh, country this is very important prelims data which actually produce greater than 60% of sugar cane in india which actually produces 60% of sugar cane in india and uh, remember which actually produces 60% of sugar cane in india and uh, remember here the most important point then based on this background what is minimum selling price statutory minimum price state advised price levy price and frp see uh, 
farmer farmer produces sugar cane and this sugar cane is sold to the mill owner now let us fix to the relation between the farmer and the mill owner see what does the mill owner do it will process it. this mill owner will process this into sugar as well as the jaggery so now farmer has a role of producing the sugar cane and this sugar cane has been supplied to the mill owner and what government is doing here government is coming up with the minimum selling price so there is a minimum selling price remember i am not talking here about minimum support price see minimum support price is different from minimum selling price see minimum selling price means it is a price where a minim a mill owner will sell the final product that is sugar final product that is sugar in the market okay so the mill owner will sell the sugar in the market which is called as minimum selling price see why i am calling this as a minimum selling price here is here government of india government of india is setting up okay a minimum selling price for sugar that is of rupees 32 for example now government of india has uh, set rupees 32 as a minimum selling price now it means a government or that particular mill owner will not sell okay will not sell sugar less than rupees 32 so remember minimum selling price is a relation between the mill owner and the market and between them government of india is the one who is setting this minimum selling price i'm i'm repeating again minimum selling price is different from minimum support price see minimum support price is given to farmers by whom government of india minimum selling price is set by government of india as a bar below which they cannot sell in the market i hope this is clear what is uh, minimum selling price and minimum support price now there is a one more term here statutory minimum prices so statutory minimum prices which are called as smp prices smp prices so statutory minimum prices are those prices where you take a case again a farmer once he produces this uh, sugar cane this crop will be handed over to sugar mill owners so sugar mill owners will buy sugar cane from the farmer so sugar mill owner are buying this sugar cane from the farmer and it is the minimum price it is a minimum price where the mill owner pays to the farmer all right which is called as statutory minimum prices it is a price where the mill owner purchases sugar cane from the farmer which is decided by the central government minimum selling price is decided by the central government all right minimum support price is also decided by the central government so first two terms are related to the central government now what is state advised price see state advised price or state advisory prices are set by the state government which means see i told you like maharashtra produces a huge up produces a huge scale so there may be chances that the central government may not set what the state government prices are or it may not satisfy the farmers of the state government so that is the reason central government may not even consider the prices or the context of what 
state government farmers have considered or the state government has considered so what state governments here are advised are you can even set sap prices state advisory prices state advisory prices are set by the state government which are paid by the mill owners to the farmers when they buy this sugar cane that's it so mill owners okay mill owners here has a two options one is statutory minimum price which they need to pay which is set by the central government and the next they have state advisory prices which is set by state government now there is one more clause here the clause here is whenever the central government and the state government are setting the prices it is advised the sugar mill should choose sap prices that is state advised prices that means in general state advised prices are higher than statutory minimum prices so state advised prices are higher than the statutory minimum prices so statutory minimum prices are set by the central government state advised state government knows very clear what the farmers input cost is and what are the other additional benefits it has to provide to the farmers so sap are set by the central government and hence always sap is greater than smp that means a mill owner if the state government is see not all the states will set sap prices that means if the mill owner has to follow then he will definitely has to follow as a thumb rule that he has to buy at sap prices only when the state government has declared sap but he cannot follow smp why because smp are lower other states which have not declared sap definitely they will go for smp but the state which has declared sap 100% mill owner has to go for sap only now next what is levy price what do you mean by the levy prices see levy prices are those prices for example see uh, directly sugar cane is never procured by any government whether it is state government or the central government no government produce or procures sugar cane see basically sugar has been uh produced by this mills when they procure the sugar cane from the farmer so when they procure sugar cane from the farmer they they will process it to the sugar and this mill process this sugar and they will sell this in the market okay they'll sell it in the market now central government has come up with the clause that the uh, sugar mills okay while they sell 100% in the market 10% 10% mandatorily they have to procure okay 100% mandatorily they have to procure this to the central government i hope you understand now see sugar mill owners after they uh, produce this fine product of sugar they will transfer it to the market and they will sell in the market that is called as a minimum selling price this i have already explained you and this mills mandatory there is a thumb rule that 10% needs to be procured 10% needs to be procured and this procurement of 10% has to be mandatorily hand it over to the central government you cannot ignore now that means 90% can go to the market and 10% will go to the 10% 100% will go to the government now government is buying this so government will buy this from whom government will definitely buy this from the mills that means government has to pay them government will pay them the levy prices so government will pay them the levy prices i hope this is clear levy prices are the prices which are paid by the government okay to the mill owners on the procurement of this mandatory sugar which is 10% in 
nature okay so this is called as the levy prices now finally we'll come to the frp prices so what is an frp prices what what do you mean by frp prices so anyone who has a doubt when this uh, anyone who has a doubt in this first to four before i uh, can actually go to frp frp is the mixture of all of this i am getting into frp if you have any doubt in frp so please tell me what is your doubt so that i can take your doubt all right no doubt that's great could sir oh my god sir could you explain in one line i can't explain in one line here 10% will buy by central government yes msp and msp both are same no they are not same sir can you tell me once msp can you please explain levy price oh great okay fine chill i'll i'll explain everything in a flow chart you will understand finally let me continue here first frp prices see uh, what are frp prices sir see uh, smp prices smp prices are the prices so what did i say farmer once uh, he produces this uh, sugar cane he will hand over it to sugar mill owners he will hand over to sugar mill owners and this mill owners need to pay the farmers these are called as statutory minimum prices okay now this statutory minimum prices needs to be reformed statutory minimum prices this was set by whom central government this needs to be reformed why this needs to be reformed rangarajan committee rangarajan committee has advised the central government so please reform so that smp considers only few factors see smp are the basic prices which the sugar mill has to pay to farmers and you are not considering many factors you are considering only few factors now it is advised that you please follow frp prices what are frp fair and remunerative prices fair and remunerative prices frp prices you need to follow frp prices so that mill owners can okay procure this sugar cane from the farmers at the frp prices now don't get confused i'll explain you all put together in one line it makes you very very simple to understand the concept now smp prices has been reformed and they have brought frp prices now who suggested frp prices rangarajan committee suggested now frp prices includes what it includes various parameters to calculate that means the input cost and also the output cost so input cost means what input cost means how much the farmer has invested seeds fertilizers irrigational charges labor charges transportation charges everything will be considered under this farmer prices output cost what do you mean by output cost output cost means at which prices sugar mill again at which prices sugar mill sell them in the market see how well frp has been set now smp never used to consider how much sugar mill used to sell in the market okay now frp is considering various parameters one important parameter is the input cost of the farmer how much a farmer is uh, uh, able to invest as well as the output cost of the mill so this could be one your very important prelims question he may ask you frp prices consider the input cost of the farmers only so it is input cost of the farmers plus how much the sugar mill is also selling in the market if there is any loss that can also be covered under the frp so frp i have to set it frp i need to set it so who recommends frp cabinet committee on economic affairs all right 
so cabinet committee on economic affairs will set this frp prices who recommends cca cca is headed by prime minister who recommends cca commission on agriculture crossed prices this is the one which is considering all these factors so all these factors are considered by cacp and it will set certain price and it will hand it over to ccea ccea will fix the final price and central government will give this frps now whenever they will procure from the farmer they will procure at the frp prices okay i hope this is very very clear in case of frp prices so let me summarize now see uh, minimum selling prices what are minimum selling prices let me write here a farmer in one line i am going to explain you all this take a farmer farmer what he'll do he will produce a sugar cane this sugar cane will be handed over to sugar mill owners and sugar mill owners will sell them in the market okay sugar mill owners are not advised to sell them below certain price i'm not talking about above certain price sugar mill owners are not advised to sell them below certain prices so these are called as minimum selling prices all right so minimum selling price is the price at which the sugar mill owners are not advised to sell in the market for example the minimum selling price could have been set rupees 30 so you are not advised to sell below 30 rupees in the market see when you sell below 30 rupees in the market what will happen your sugar product will get more demand and you will sell more goods and your you will get more profits how about other farmers how about other mill owners how about the other markets so that's the reason i am setting minimum selling price for you so who is setting this central government okay this is done now statutory minimum prices statutory minimum prices these are the prices which are paid by mill owners to the farmers statutory minimum prices these are the prices paid by okay the mill owners to the farmers but these considers very few factors only this will not consider more factors it might not consider output factors of uh, mill owners not heavy input factors of the farmers so smp are the basic things which have been considered by the government central government who said this again central government so these are the basic price which have been paid by the sugar mill owners to the farmers as simple as that next state advised prices state advised prices are set by state advised prices are set by state government out of which the mill owners will pay to the farmers which are set by the state government see mill owners also pay to the farmers which are set by smp central government is also setting state government is also setting so in the first case here central government sets smp prices in the second case here state government also set sap prices so what did i tell what did i tell you i'll ask you a simple question in this case please answer which of the following will be higher is it smp or sap oh so good very good very good so sap prices are higher all right so sap prices are greater than smp prices and states like maharashtra states like uh, uttar pradesh okay states any other states which is uh, producing more good obviously uh, the farmers uh, expect something more from the state government and hence sap prices are always greater than smp prices now what is a levy price levy price means there is some mandatory condition on the sugar mill owners when they produce 100% of sugar and they will sell in the market that means you sell it 90% in the market but 10% you have to give to whom 10% you have to give it to 
government so 10% you have to give it to government and the price at which the price at which the government buys sugar from the from the this sugar mill is called as the levy price i hope this is clear okay the price at which now you don't have any levy prices earlier you used to have levy prices but now central government doesn't give you any sugar central government does not procure you any sugar it is only state government is procuring sugar state government does not give you levy prices but state government directly buy from the market so remember state government directly buys from the market at the market prices earlier you used to have levy prices now central government earlier case used to buy sugar at the levy prices and used to hand over that basic price to the sugar mill so this is levy price now what is finally frp prices see smp prices and frp prices so this you have to include smp and frp frp considers many indicators all indicators smp considers few indicators frp has many input parameters and also output parameters whereas smp has only few parameters it will consider inflation it will consider the benefits of the farmers bank loans interest it will also consider the basic price what the mill owners are also getting so all the factors it will consider and it will give frp prices now what are the prices you have you don't have anything which related to state minimum prices or levy prices you have now state advise prices and frps frps now one simple question again among sap and frp which will be highest among sap and frp which of the following will be highest obviously very true 100 percent so good very good people have caught the concept in very single moment so sap prices are again higher than the frp prices see yes, sap prices in the states are around 380 to 360 per quintal frp prices are somewhere around 290 per quintal so obviously when you have declared sap state mills are advised to consider 380 rupees when compared to frp prices okay so i hope it is very clear for you what is the minimum selling price what is statutory minimum price? What is the state advice price? What is the levy price? And what are the FRP prices? So it is very clear that I want to, it is very clear that I wanted to take only the few uh, minutes for you so that I can explain this basic uh, terms and definitions so that from tomorrow I can teach you all the basic concepts in the current affairs i can take forward this session so that all you people can get a very good understanding uh, remember from the past three years from the past three years the sessions which i have conducted it has given me a maximum results in the upsc and other state services so you can definitely understand that it is definitely going to help you last 15 20 days but i'm not going to take much time because people might be in the preparation but you can spend 30 minutes of your quality time which can actually help you to gain some knowledge okay so we'll we'll wind up the session here tomorrow i will i will take tomorrow i will take and i will teach you 15 topics which are currently in news so today these are the topics which five topics i have taught and we'll meet tomorrow. Thank you.